I can't believe I'm coming back to this shitstorm. Today, Kemi Badenoch has launched her election campaign and she released a video. Let's take a look at the video. Until we wake up and Kemi Badenoch doesn't exist anymore, I don't wish ill of her, I just wish her to shut up. No, I will not shut up. When you have that type of cultural establishment trying to keep conservatives down, you need someone like me who's not afraid of Doctor Who or whoever. <laughs> As you can see, she is still attacking David Tennant. For those of you who are not aware, David Tennant did a speech a couple of months ago at a LGBTQ plus ceremony and he said what he said about her and it's all to do with her bigoted views. However, a lot of people blown it out of proportion because straight away she and other fellow Conservatives, including former Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, presumed that he was being sexist and he was being racist. This is just so far from the truth. If you want to know more about my views on this, then you can check out this video here on the screen now. I'm a Doctor Who channel, so I don't really want to delve too much into politics here. So for what it's worth, if you're interested in Doctor Who, if you're new here, then feel free to give this a like and subscribe as there's plenty more content that I've done over the years which is all about Doctor Who. But now to tackle this elephant in the room, I think Kemi Badenoch's campaign strategy is so stupid. Why on earth she's using hate speech towards David Tennant is beyond me. The fact that this is something which was said a couple of months ago and the fact that she's trying to spin that he's like the villain in all of this is just absurd. And you could argue on the surface what he said may sound out of order because he's telling someone to shut up and he's saying like she shouldn't exist. As I said before, I think it's blown out of proportion. I think what he meant is her views shouldn't exist, so people like her with her views shouldn't exist. That is literally all it is. He even says, like, straight after, he doesn't wish her ill will. And what makes me laugh in the campaign is that bit of the speech is in there. So, very, very bad PR team. And I've just got to say that what she says after it just... Oh, it makes me laugh. She sounds like a Doctor Who villain. She says... I'm not afraid of Doctor Who. Like, okay, I don't think that we're meant to be afraid of Doctor Who. She makes it out that Doctor Who is like some sort of villain, whereas she just sounds like she is a villain. What she doesn't realise is she is more of the problem here. You could argue that David Tennant could have handled it better. And yeah, he probably could have done. But bigoted views... They're just, like, getting completely ignored here. And the fact that she's trying to reinforce that her views are, like, the right thing, it's just incredible, really. It's just absolutely baffling how people have managed to get her to the position that she's in now. She's, like, one of the front runners to be the next Conservative leader. Can you believe that? The party is in tatters. So what do they do? Let's just reach even further into the bottom of the pile. Let's make her the leader. And before anyone jumps to conclusions, no, it's nothing to do with the fact that she's black. Nothing to do with the fact that she's a woman. Far from it. If anything, it's a great thing that you have black women in politics. Great. However, her views... I don't support her views. She takes the piss out of trans people and she doesn't like the gay community. And you know what? You know what the baffling thing is? And I said this before in the previous video which I mentioned. 
She was the Equalities Minister when the Conservatives were in government. Yeah, the Equalities Minister. But you know what else really makes me laugh about this campaign? It's the fact that she's making out that David Tennant doesn't matter. And Doctor Who doesn't matter. When she really doesn't realise that Doctor Who matters to very many people. Including myself. And like it or not, David Tennant matters to a lot of people. And some people won't like David Tennant for whatever reason. Maybe nothing to even do with this very scenario. Some people just won't like him for his acting. Whatever. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. But you have to look at the bigger picture and accept that a lot of people see David Tennant as a role model. Whether it comes to his time as the Doctor, or whether it comes to his role as an ambassador for equality, for LGBTQ+. Because honestly, he is a great ambassador, a great role model for those, and I think those things are important. I think in a few years' time, a lot more people will remember David Tennant than Kemi Badenoch because at the end of the day, Tennant has enlightened millions of people with his role of the Doctor, whereas Badenoch is just someone who has outdated views and just doesn't get the bigger picture. So, for that, I do think that she should shut up. I have only one thing to say to you.